here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, armed people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. Is that what this place is called? Yeah, we're a real up-and-comer. A pit stop on the road for traders and such. We're not that big, but we got the bargains. Got a doc that can patch you up? We even got some lemonade. Well, ah, that's what Deezer calls it anyway. There's a small catch, though. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. Interesting idea. Between you and me, what's the test for? I probably shouldn't say nothing, but listen. We want to make sure only good people come into Covenant. No undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they see, you know? Well, your town, your rules. You want to take the test? Pass it, and I'll let you in. I guess. Take a seat, and we can begin. So let's begin. There ain't no wrong answers. You are approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? I wouldn't worry. If he did that, it'd cause a parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity. Uh, yeah. Next question. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate. The doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Amputate the foot before the infection spreads. Hmm, amputation. Next question. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? I give the boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay. Very curious. Congratulations, hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Pitcher. Are you certain about that? Never mind. Next question. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? I throw my tea in her face. Of course. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? I... Grab a bobby pin and pick the lock. And that is all you do? Nothing else? Wait, don't answer. Next. Oh no. <laughs> You've been exposed to radiation and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? I'd cut off the mutated tissue with a precision laser. Technological bias. Hmm. A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? I'd trade him for one of the comic books I own. Hmm. You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Oh, oh, I'd put a firecracker in his toilet. Bam! It never gets old. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. Welcome to Covenant. Hey. Well, hello, stranger. The name's Jacob, and I run this town. Glad you passed the test. Our door's always open to good quality. You can use one of the beds in the guest house. And you should visit Penny's store. I appreciate the hospitality. For people like you, anytime. You might want to stay clear of Mr. Dan. I've had some complaints about him. Who's Dan? He's a gun for hire. Not the most savory line of work, if you ask me. You have a good stay now. shouldn't talk to you because I'm busy and all Talia uh, oh I heard about you you're the stranger I make things uh, things for the store oh I'm Talia it's so nice to meet you what do you make I make medical supplies oh and guns scopes and other things you can see them for sale at any store you're gonna like it here 
Everyone in Covenant is so friendly and really wants to help. Why is everyone here so friendly? I don't know. I ask Mr. Orden. I'm much better with terminals than people. Feel free to use my tools. And if you need anything, just let me know. Doctor, Solomon, right? I already told you. I don't recollect. We get a lot of traffic. This isn't Diamond City. A caravan of five comes through, you'd remember. Then they must not have come through. Say, wouldn't you rather have a lemonade? My job here isn't drinking lemonade. I know for a fact they came here. Why the brush off? I want to help, mister, but I really don't recollect. Mark my words. I'll get to the bottom of this. You from around here? God, I hope not. I've got enough of these hicks. What's it to you? Just doing my job. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? A caravan? I'm not really the trader type. Well, this isn't about trade. I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. I've got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people and split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. Who are we looking for? The big one is Stockton's daughter, Amelia. I didn't find any bodies of the feminine persuasion. So, uh, there's hope. If we find her, Stockton's offering a heap of caps. Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved, somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. Hey, the, uh, the leg's still on the mend. You have anything for the pain? <clears throat> I hope Swanson didn't give you too hard a time at the gate. If you ask me, I think he takes his job too seriously. But welcome. Everyone around here calls me Mrs. Fitzgerald. But you, cutie, can call me Penny. What do you do around here? A bit of everything. I try to leave some things for the men folk to do, you know, so they feel in charge. You here to shop? I'll make sure to give you a good price. Do you have time for a few questions? For you? Hmm, <laughs> certainly. People here are really friendly. Why's that? Everyone that passes the test is welcome to visit. But we are particular on who can live here. And having a positive attitude is important to us. The town looks really nice. How'd you manage that? Oh, thank you for noticing. Well, the men folk would say good old-fashioned elbow grease keeps Covenant as the prettiest place in the Commonwealth. But between you and me, I think shrewd trading may play a big part. <laughs> Do you know anything about a missing caravan? You've been talking to Mr. Dan. I don't know what he's carrying on about. He's just stirring the pot, if you ask me. Definitely. He has such an attitude. I know! He's so smug. And Dan thinks he's the one helping people. He wouldn't know the first thing about making the Commonwealth a better, safer place. Right? He should be thankful you let him in. Instead, he stomps around interrogating people. If the compound did do something to his precious caravan, they had reasons for it. Better reasons than a man like him. You know, honey, I... I was just shooting off at the mouth. Just forget anything I said about that and the compound. I have to go. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. I hope you found something on the caravan. I found out about a compound. The caravan survivors may be there. Great. Now we just need to find it. If anyone would know where this compound is, it'd be Jacob. He runs this town. But he doesn't have the best memory. I saw him once, reading a slip of paper while entering his password. Maybe you can find that. We'll talk later. Enjoy your stay. Thanks for the warm welcome. And you have manners too. 
That makes you doubly welcome here. Unfortunately, I got a town to run. Can I ask some questions? Ask away. This place almost looks pre-war. How do you manage that? Hard work, shrewd trading, and a commitment to make a healthy community. It's a team effort. You ever hear of a, a compound? Why, that sounds interesting, stranger. But I can't say I've ever heard of a compound, was it? Do you know anything about a missing caravan? Is this about those Stockton people? I've told Mr. Dan many, many times. We never saw them. I have to go. You have a good day. Another newcomer. Welcome. Mr. Fitzgerald. We don't tolerate violence or vulgarity. Steer clear of those, and we'll get along just fine. Get your lemonade here! Hey, Deezer. Would you like some free lemonade? I'm looking into a lost caravan. Can you help? You know what would be great for a lost caravan? Deezer's Lemonade! Voted Best Beverage in Covenant three years straight! I'll pass. You don't know what you're missing! Oh. Hi. Talia. Oh, you're back. Isn't Covenant just the best? Do you have time for some questions? If it'll help, sure. Do you know anything about a compound? Uh, no. Sorry. I just make things. For the shop, you know. I'm looking for a girl. Her name's Amelia Stockton. Have you heard of her? Oh, I'm afraid I haven't. I hope she's okay. I have to go. Oh, okay. Nice. Hey, Dan. You find out anything about the caravan? They took the survivors to a, a compound. Then we're in business. I'll meet you there and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret that I'm poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. What rash decisions are you talking about? Maybe your next destination doesn't appreciate trespassers. Just come out and say what you mean. Maybe you heard a rumor about Stockton's caravan and a certain compound? So, hypothetically, let's say there's something to that. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. Tell you what. You just stop this investigation, and I'll give you a gift. One hundred caps. And then you'd be welcome back here as our friend any time. Surely there's room for compromise. I get Stockton's survivors, and we stay... friends? I'd have to know more, though. That's a tall order. A deal like that, well, that's above my pay grade. Tell you what, I'll let the Kampa know you're coming, then you can make your case to them. Good luck. People are mucking around the shore at all hours. 
Scaring my fish. Hi. Don't scare the fish, asshole. This place. Hey, Dan. Some people up ahead. I'll follow your lead. Just because Jake can vouch for you doesn't mean you can enter the compound. Why should I let you in? I'm coming in, one way or the other. At least with the easy way. You still get to breathe. All right. Have it your way. I'll take her to Dr. Chambers. She can decide what to do with you. Don't try anything funny. You've been warned. Blight. Hey, Blight! Torture. They are sick. Just give me the signal. Yes, what is it, Manny? I thought you guys were done with Subject 12. Oh, yes, the interview's over. I'm just reviewing the data on question four. It's fascinating, really. Yeah, I'm sure. Certainly. Warden Center. You're the first outsider that's been in here. Welcome to the compound. Stranger. So the one investigating Stockton's caravan has arrived. Do you even know that his supposed daughter is in all likelihood a sin? No matter. Let me be upfront about it. There are two ways this meeting can end. We come to an agreement, or there's violence. You really don't want to start a fight with me. Agreed. Killing would be a costly proposition. Let me pose a question to you. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it, or would you do something? I've been there, but I haven't resorted to torturing innocents. Casualties are inevitable. It may not look like it, but we're at war. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden sins, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? A war? Really? Is it that bad? Hundreds of kidnappings over the years. Ask the survivors if it's really that bad. And there are so many other tragedies that may be their responsibility as well. You can't seriously want to kill all the synths. We most certainly do. But we have to find them first. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the SAFE test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. 
It sounds like your test may not even work. There is a correlation. We've measured it. We just need more data, more test subjects to narrow it down. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton's sins and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me, I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Don't kill the girl. Spare her. Impossible. The odds are too great she's an Institute infiltrator. Even if she is an unfortunate victim in this war, sparing her can compromise everything. What? People were here. Lost them. Confidence on subject 12 is high. We'll know for certain post mortem. And any progress on question 3? None. The EKG shows nothing unexpected. The answers are too damn predictable. You've made your opinions quite clear on the value of question 3. Removing it could invalidate all the data we've accumulated to date. Moving on. Question four. The data on this is fascinating. Why does... Please. I got a kid. I... Do you want another treatment? No. So, again. Congratulations. You made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? I've already told you. Catcher! Again, which position? Chained, Chained on the other, the other side. side. Catcher, Why? I be the catcher. I, I don't know. They, they got the, the funny... The funny helmets. I saw a picture when I was a kid. Hmm. Do synths even know the rules of baseball? No, please. I'm not... Uh, just let me... 
Just answer the questions, and only the questions. Congratulations, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Catcher. <laughs> Please, don't hurt me! Pull yourself together. Oh. Okay. I'm Amelia Stockton. I'm not a synth. How can I be sure? Please. You have to believe me. I'm a human being just like you. My father, old man Stockton, he will reward you. Just let me out. Please. Got it. Oh, thank goodness. I'm free. I'm never ever coming back here. Hey, Dan. So Stockton gets his daughter and we get paid. Not a bad day. It was good working with you. Likewise. Glad you were on my side. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. Been a pleasure. Be safe, Dan. Same to you.